Hey there, I'm Sarah Walker, founder of the Sisters Enchanted, where it's our mission to make magic mainstream. And I am bringing you a quick three-part video series on different magical tools that you can use when doing abundance work in your life. So today, the first thing we're going to talk about is herbs. Now, there are tons of herbs that have associations with abundance, and depending on the sort of abundance that you're looking to bring into your life, there's even more herbs that you might be interested in using. We're going to talk about four today that can be handy kind of across the board and that are easily accessible to just about every person. So the first one we're going to talk about today is allspice. So allspice is one of those herbs that you will find if you were to go on the internet and search magical properties of allspice. It's going to be good for just about anything. You can purchase it at a store ground or even in the little berry form they're called. They're like little round uh, seeds kind of. They're allspice berries. You can buy them either way. So allspice is, it's associated with fire and with the planet Mars, and there's all sorts of really good, hot, spicy, juicy, motivational energy behind allspice. So allspice can be added into any magical working that you are conjuring up to add some fuel, add some fire to that thing, ignite it into being. So allspice by nature is really great for abundance because it's gonna add heat, it's gonna boil up whatever it is that you're working on. Another one is cinnamon. So cinnamon is also associated with fire and with the sun. So similar to allspice, cinnamon is one that can be used in all sorts of ways, but it's really great when working on financial abundance. You can sprinkle some cinnamon on your altar space, you can use ground cinnamon, you can buy whole cinnamon sticks and use those in grids, you can put cinnamon essential oil into different sprays or potions you're creating up, you can diffuse it in your home, you can sprinkle cinnamon onto candles, uh, you know, whatever way you want to use cinnamon, but cinnamon is a really, really good one for working on financial abundance. And also because cinnamon is associated with the sun, we have that solar property, which is really great for goal setting and getting out there and chasing down goals, including financial goals. And most people have cinnamon in their homes. It's also really great to sprinkle into oatmeal or coffee or tea and use it every day in your life. So another one are bay leaves. So bay leaves, you can purchase, you can purchase them fresh, you can purchase them dried uh, in the herb section of your grocery store, most likely. So bay leaves are amazing for luck. Again, you can use whole bay leaves and you can use them with grids. You can write on them and roll them up and wear them in a vial on your person or put them in a mojo bag that you carry with you. With that property of luck though, again, we, we see that working with money and we can incorporate that into any kind of abundance work we're working on, right? If you wanted an abundance of love, you can write love on a bay leaf, roll it up with a rose petal and make a little talisman with that. All sorts of really cool stuff that you can do. So the fourth herb I'm gonna tell you about today is a strange one and doesn't totally fit the bill for abundance, but can work in a different sort of way, and that's poppy seeds. So poppy seeds are really great actually for intuitive work, dream work, um, kind of putting yourself into that relaxed sort of uh, connected state with spirit. But with that said, being in that dream state, poppy seeds are also really great for creating confusion. So if you're looking to bring some financial abundance into your life and you're hoping that maybe it takes a little bit longer for some financial records to be straightened out or maybe an insurance claim, you're just looking for an extra few days to get the money together, poppy seeds might be something to consider working with to create some confusion or delay the process. Something to think about. Um, and anywhere in your life where you're looking to bring in abundance or you're specifically working to to do all the solar stuff and you're really out there chasing a dollar amount that you need for something you're trying to bring it into your life and you're trying to delay the use of that money you know maybe you want 
maybe you need to pay for something new and you're just at the do the money is due tomorrow but you're just waiting you know you need one more day and so you want to cause some confusion around that and delay it poppy seeds are something to consider for that uh, so that poppy seeds combined with um, bay leaves for luck and you've got yourself a whole situation there you can work with around abundance and making sure you have time to cultivate cultivate the abundance that you would like to. So there's four herbs for you to consider in doing your abundance work. Allspice, cinnamon, bay leaves, and poppy seeds. Give them a try and let us know how they work for you. You can find us on Facebook at The Sisters Enchanted. We've also got a really great community of over 11,000 women in our Facebook group. And again, just search The Sisters Enchanted and you'll find us there. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you have an enchanted rest of your day and I'll see you soon.